This is a Game Caviar production. Oh, not having in the Game Caviar Studios playing some Halo 4 online against a bunch of camping bitches. Uh, yeah, that's right. I said, you see me running up this hill? That's where they camped at the whole game. The whole game. I kid you not. These little camping parasite bitch made dudes or whatever. Probably children. I don't know. But anyway, they in the game, they were camping on top of this building the whole match. Terrible. I was having a good time playing this uh, Halo 4 online. It's a really good game online. It's really good. You can see where they took a bunch of stuff from Call of Duty, but they did it in a way that's cool because you know, it's Halo. What are you going to say? And overall, the experience online is a lot better than Call of Duty. I don't know how Black Ops 2 is going to be. It's going to be released next week. Blah, blah, blah. You already know that. If you're watching my channel, I've been talking about Black Ops 2 for like a year. And it has so has every other gaming channels. But look. Look. Look at this. Look at how this is. If you, I mean, if you give these nerds, these cowards, first-person shooters, what are they going to do? They're going to find a place to hide. And they're just going to they, they're gonna run their score up. Nothing about this match was fun. And I was thinking about quitting the match. But I was like, you know what? No. I know where they're at. And I'm going to keep going up there. And I'm going to keep hitting them until I get them. And then later on in the match, I go in there and I, I clean house. And it, it, it makes it easy because, look, one of them was always in that hover vehicle, whatever the hell it's called. I don't know what it's called. The, the other two were just up there sniping the whole time. So you already knew what they were. They they had the upper advantage. Look, 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 look. One of them tried to get, get invisible. No, no, you're not going to get invisible. This is the, the match right here. Okay? I'm not going to lie. They spanked us because they had us pinned down most of the time. But, you know, it's the perseverance of letting these camping bitches know that, look, you're not going to break my will. I'm going to find you. I'm going to Liam Neeson you. I'm going to find you. I'm, I'm, what did he say? I said, I'm going to look for you. I'm going to find you. And I'm going to kill you. And that's exactly what I did. I cannot allow these camping sissies to sit on top of buildings and in corners and around corners and all these other hiding spots that they find. I can't allow that to happen in a video game because when they do that they destroy the game for everybody else it's not fun when you spawn and then all of a sudden you get picked off by some loser who's camping on top of a building like they are in this game some of the positive things about this game that i like no lag no uh transmission errors no connection errors none of that crap that you would find in a Call of Duty game, a game that's somehow uh, just as popular as this game. I don't know how. Uh, probably because Halo hadn't been coming out in, you know, whatever. They haven't made a, a major release in some years. So, uh, the online campaign or the online match or whatever you want to call it, the online portion of the game is absolutely beautiful. It is executed flawlessly the only problem that i have with this game is are these little punks that just get in the game and all they do is they find their nice little camping spot and they set up a tent you know and they, and they, they roll up their, their sleeping bag and they put their sleeping bag in the tent and they pitch a fire and they just snipe and hide and do all sorts of dumb stuff that is, un I cannot see myself playing a video game like this. I do not understand how people, I don't understand how people get, uh, how, do, how do they get satisfaction out of playing a game like that? How do you get satisfaction out of saying, I'm going to stay on top of this building and I'm just pick people off? I mean, I don't get that. How much money are they making by doing that? How much money are they making by doing that? How much money is 343 sending them in a check in the mail for doing that the answer is none i doubt if they're getting paid for that that's the only reason why you could even possibly explain running up your your uh your kd ratio with your stats as if you were getting paid to do it this wasn't an mlg sponsored event i was sitting in the game caviar studio playing this game there were no cameras there was nothing. 
It was just a bunch of random people in a match, and I just so happened to be on a team that um, I mean, we gave it all, okay? We stayed in a fight. We got whipped, and I'm not ashamed to say that, but the fact that we got beat by a bunch of losers and punks who stayed in one spot and just stayed in the vehicle and um, uh, dominated us through their uh, their um, bitch ass techniques. I mean, that just leaves a sour taste in my mouth. I could see if we were uh, all running around and you know having gun on gun fights and doing like a normal Halo match, like every other match before this was just uh, unbelievable. It was unbelievable because. Um, this was the first night that I played online and it was just, um, it was a lot of action back, <clears throat> excuse me, a, a lot of action packed matches. The gunplay was amazing. Uh, I didn't, there's some guns that are too overpowered, but they're not fully auto. I like the, the, uh, the ordinance that you get or kill streaks. If you used to call of duty, I like those. I like the fact that they give you a choice of which one you want. You don't. You're not. Um, you're not uh, 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 des designated to have a single kill streak for whatever amount of kills or points or whatever it is. However they uh, give it to you. Uh, what is it? However they award you the ordinance. It kind of reminds me of Call of Duty. Not Call of Duty. I'm sorry. It kind of reminds me of Medal of Honor, Warfighter, and the, the 2010 Call. I mean, good Lord. Medal of Honor, where they give you a choice. I like that. I like the maps. The maps are, and I just played Team Slayer. I didn't play the big uh, Team Slayer. I just played regular Team Slayer. The maps are, they range from being small, where you have a bunch of gun battles and fast-paced matches, to fairly big, to where you can have vehicles like this one, where you have the little floating ship, whatever it's called, in the 4x4. I like the maps. I do... I do like the maps. They do give you a lot of space to actually go out and, uh, in this case, camp on top of a damn building. Uh, I like the way it looks. I like the sounds. Like I said, there's no lag. It's nothing in the game that takes away. It's nothing that's technically wrong with this game. The only thing that is wrong with this game are douchebag campers that camp on top of buildings. And this is why I came through and absolutely smashed both of them. I was not going to, I wasn't going to get killed. I went up there. I was like, look, I got these guys. I know they're going to be up there waiting for me. I don't give a damn. I'm going up there. Guns are blazing. And you know what? I killed them both. I'm not going to allow campers to ruin my gaming experience. And neither should you. 801 subscribers is what I have right now. I need 199 more to meet 1,000 before the end, of the, before the year is over. Do yourself a favor and do me a favor and everybody else in Game Caviar and, pit and press that subscribe button. And if you are tired of seeing campers ruin games, ruin matches for nothing, just so they can pad their stupid stats, share this video with as many people as you want. If you think that I'm wrong, share this video. If you think that you can share this video and make me look like a fool because you think that camping is something that should be acceptable in video games, you're wrong. But please, by all means, let people know. Let people see this. Especially people who play this game and other first-person shooter games like this. The general consensus in the gaming community is that camping is for losers. You gain nothing by camping. You have no skill in the game if you sit in a corner or in a bush or on a roof and you camp all game. You're a loser. You have no skill. You should put the game down if that's how you want to play it. Trade it in. There's no room for you. People hate you in the game, probably in real life, because if you play like that in a video game, you're probably just as bad in real life i'm not having it in the game caviar studios and i'm out fuck campers this has been a game caviar production like this video and subscribe for more